This woman got instant privilege after mentioning her mom's name, wanted to have her necklace fixed at a local jewelry store. Well, would you still be able to do it? She says, yeah, but it would be really expensive. Hmm. Okay, interesting tone, Susan. But everything changed the moment the saleswoman heard who her mom is. And now every single commenter on the internet is hella curious. I need to know why Susan fears your mother. I have a necklace for Christmas. It's great. I love it. But because I'm fat and I have a girthy neck, it's a little too small. The necklace was a bit too small, so her mom told her how to get it fixed. So she walked into the jewelry store the next day. This was where she met Susan and things started to get a little more difficult. Great. Out walks Susan. I pull out the necklace, tell her the situation, and she takes out her little jewelry microscope and looks at my necklace. And she looks at me, she looks at the necklace, and she goes, goes, that clasp isn't made of real gold. Not a problem. I never assumed that it was. Susan even went a bit too sassy when answering her questions. She said, oh, well, can you still add a chain to extend it? She says, if I were to add a gold chain to the metal pieces on this necklace, it would be like adding gold to a Timex instead of a Rolex. Now Susan would resist her request and told her to go to another store instead. Then she 